I was in Trader Joe's the other day and saw these for the first time. These are Trader Joe's organic mini flour tortillas. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So I've never seen these in Trader Joe's before and I do have some videos on this channel where I make mini quesadillas in the Dash Mini Griddle and I do get comments from people saying that the Mission Street Tacos are the perfect size for the Dash Mini Griddle. Unfortunately, every time that I look for them in a store, I never see them. So I have not found those sold in any stores around here. When I saw these in Trader Joe's, I thought these might be a really good size for the Dash Mini Griddle, so I bought them. And I don't remember exactly how much these were. I wanna say they were around $2.79 or $2.99. They weren't very expensive. So these are organic, they are all natural. The serving size is two tortillas. You get 12 tortillas in this package. Calories per serving is 120, sodium is 220, uh, carbs 21, protein three. Let's check out the ingredients. They are organic wheat flour, water, organic sunflower oil, organic palm oil, organic cultured wheat flour to preserve. It contains 2% or less of citric acid, organic rice flour, microbial enzyme, salt, organic sugar, sodium bicarbonate, organic sunflower lecithin, xanthan gum, sodium acid pyrophosphate, organic war gum, and monocalcium phosphate. So here's my Dash Mini Griddle next to the organic mini flour tortillas. They look like they could be a good fit. If they're not a perfect fit, they could at least be a good fit. So let's open up this bag of tortillas and see how they fit. Here's a mini tortilla and here's the mini griddle. And check that out, it's a nearly perfect fit. That is awesome. I'm really happy, so let me go see what I have in my fridge and let me see what I can make with these. Here's what I found to go with the tortilla. I have some ground beef. This is probably like um, one ounce of ground beef. I have some leftover spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce, and I have some provolone cheese, which I have cut into small pieces. You could use any kind of shredded cheese that you have. Uh, so I'm going to make a pizza quesadilla. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna cook the meat. I wanna brown the ground beef. So I'm gonna plug in the mini griddle, and we'll be back once the blue light has gone off. Okay, the blue light went off. Always be really careful because that is super hot and I'm just gonna add the ground beef. And then let's cook that for like a minute or two. Okay, it's been about a minute. Let's just check on the ground beef. I want to make sure it's cooked through. Okay, that looks good. Let me get another bowl and let's take that out. I'm gonna grab a paper towel and wipe this down. I just wet the paper towel. Be super careful, do not burn yourself. Okay, now let's assemble the quesadilla. Some people like to butter the tortillas. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put the tortilla on here just like this. And then I am going to put my ground beef on it. And these videos are edited. I did wash the spatula between the raw beef and the cooked beef. Let's add some tomato sauce. And now let's add the cheese. 
If you like a lot of cheese, you can add a lot of cheese. I'm not a big cheese fan, so I'm not going to add all that much. I'm just going to kind of put it on there like spokes of a wheel. The cheese should melt uh, as it cooks. That looks good. Let's top it with the other tortilla. Let's close that and then let's come back in like three minutes. It's been three minutes now, so let's open this up and see what's going on here. It looks like the top has gotten nicely browned. I'm gonna grab a plate and then let's unplug this dash mini griddle. Always unplug it and let's take this quesadilla off of here. It came off really easily. Let's see if we can cut this easily. Yeah, I knew a lot of the sauce would come out because I probably put too much sauce in. There we go. I'm just going to cut it in four because it'll be easier to pick up and eat. It looks like the cheese is nicely melted. The tortilla is crisp. It's a little bit messy, but it looks really good and it smells really good. So let's taste it. So this is really messy. I definitely should have used less sauce, but it's really good. It tastes so good. And these tortillas are the perfect size for this mini griddle. And so this is how you can make a pizza quesadilla in a dash mini griddle. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.